Forget where the IRS started targeting. My next guest says it is time to put a stop to the entire agency for good. The IRS is out of control, targeting law-abiding citizens, playing politics, losing their receipts for lavish spending. Let's end the IRS. All right, Leo Lindbeck uh, heads up Americans for Fair Taxation, the group behind this ad. Well, it's very uh, clear, Leo, where you're standing, where the group stands. What kind of reaction have you gotten? Well, we've gotten a lot of rea really pretty positive reaction. You know, people are pretty fed up with the system. And it's not just the IRS. The IRS is the sort of the focal point right, right. now. But people know that the income tax system and produc production taxes, are it's just, it's broken. You know, it does come at a time when a lot of people are saying, look, I thought the information I gave you, IRS, was sacred. You'd hang on to it. You wouldn't share it with everybody. You wouldn't target groups. And that's obviously been proven wrong. Um, so you might be coming at a good time to raise a case just how reliable is this agency and how much good will it do. But besides expanding maybe into health care and giving that pause, do you really think you have any chance at all of just abolishing the place? Well, we've got to start with the political question, right? We've got to start with this issue of do we tax production or do we tax consumption? Do we tax people on their wages and on their investments or do we tax them on how much they consume? And that battle has to be fought. And that's ultimately an electoral battle. And we see our plan is to bring this into the primary election cycle for Congress. All of this stuff with the IRS is really something that's been enabled and set up by Congress. Congress is the one that's responsible for this. The IRS are just following through on these. And yes, you see abuses, and those are getting our attention. But we have to fix the fundamental system, which is but could you have stop the risk, taxing no, production. I'm sorry, Leah, but could you have the same risk if it was taxing production, if it was, let's say, reassigned to do other things that you say, and I know you want to eliminate it, but it was doing the kind of things you alluded to that it should be doing, or that is a more productive way of going after assets, that they would just as easily corrupt that process? Well, the idea of a consumption tax is the way to go without any taxes on production is the opportunity to gain that is dramatically lower so, mm -hmm. you know people will always try to figure things figure right, ways right. around the system but but you know what we have is a situation where we don't have enough jobs we don't have enough production and we have too much consumption and we're taxing one and giving the other a free pass and that's got to stop and ultimately that responsibility lives with congress you don't have to have income taxes and payroll taxes the two most vibrant economies right now in the world run with no income tax and no capital gains tax. And those are Florida and Texas. You know, you, they're they're the two of the 20 largest economies in the world, and they run without that tax base. We can do this. Congress can switch it. But we've got to start by getting rid of the 16th Amendment and stop Congress from taxing production. All right. We'll watch it closely, Leo. Interesting argument. You, you express it very well, Leo Lindbeck.